So today we're going to take apart an air conditioning evaporator. This is the unit that sits in the de like behind the dash in the car, and this is the unit responsible for cooling the air. So the uh, refrigerant comes in, it's expanded in this evaporator, and that causes the refrigerant to cool, and then the blower which pushes air through the evaporator, uh, that air that gets pushed through gets cooled, and then enters the, uh, the cabin. Uh, just a few things to note here, so we have the input and output of the refrigerant. Uh, we're going to take a look at here what all the stuff is. Um, has some electrical connections. And one really cool thing here on this side, this sensor is called a thermoresistor, uh, I think. And this thing, what its job is to do is to measure the temperature of the output air and to make sure that it doesn't go below freezing. Uh, once it does get near freezing, uh, then this unit turns off. Uh, you don't want water to freeze on this unit. Uh, s because this thing is, will be cool and the air moving past it will be moist, water will condense on this unit. And so if it gets near freezing, then ice will form. So this thing makes sure that does, that doesn't happen. And you can see it's just like a radiator. It has lots and lots of fins to increase the surface area so that uh, heat transmission or heat conduction is maximized. So we're going to take apart this and see what's inside. So we took apart the, the unit. This is just the plastic casing that houses the, uh, uh, the evaporator. Sorry. And uh, taking a look at this here, this is the back side of it. This is the return line that so comes up and out. And this is the input line. And my best guess here is this is the expansion valve. So the, uh, you can see here the input tube is smaller than the output. So this expansion valve uh, expands the, the refrigerant to a larger diameter, uh, probably at a fixed flow rate. And uh, I'm not sure what this sensor is, but there's some sensor in here, maybe for uh, flow rate, something like that, temperature, I'm not sure. Um, so it goes in here and then it runs through all the fins and then back out. And if we take a look at the other side, this is the side that has the thermo, thermo resistor that measures the, uh, the temperature of the output and make sure it doesn't go to freezing. So all in all, fairly simple. Again, th the process is having high pressure refrigerant in liquid form expanding it and this causes it to turn into a gas. Um, this causes the, uh, it to absorb lots of heat and that heat is absorbed from the air that's blowing through it and thus the air becomes much colder, enters the cabin and that's uh, the basics of air conditioning. The rest is just how to get the refrigerant at high pressure to this unit. As you can see it's not a very big unit, you can see this is my hand. Uh, so you don't need a very big unit for a car to get quite cold air.